Hello, welcome back. My name is uh, Sosale Mohana and uh, I'm a math teacher. I have taught for maths over 50 years in India, in Kenya and then in uh, UK and I have taught mainly A-level maths and further maths. So I am now, I'll just continue with where I stopped in the last lesson. In the last lesson we did uh, about lump sum payments to employees. See, but at the same time, sometimes when you go to a bank and buy a, and ask for a loan, obviously you have to pay interest. And at the same time, you know, you also don't want to keep on accruing the interest. So you want to pay little by little every year in installments. So I have made up a question like this here. Uh, I'll take, I'll take you through the question and then I will show you how to solve a question like this. This is something like, you know, your EMI estimated monthly installment. That's what we are looking at. So Simon borrows 25,000 pounds from a bank for renovation of his house. He wants to repair his house. The bank charges, obviously, they would give you free 6% interest per annum. On the outstanding balance at the end of each year, like, you know, first year, let's say 1st January 2019, you borrow 25,000. So on 1st January 2020, you will owe them 25,000 plus 6% of interest on 25,000. But let's say on 1st January 2020, you said, look, I want to pay you back 2,000 pounds. So then from 25,000, you didn't owe them 25, you owe them 25 times 1.06. Then they calculate that, remove the 2,000. For from 2020 to 2021, they will charge you 6% on whatever was that balance. So every year when you pay, the uh, the interest you owe starts reducing and the principal also starts reducing. So you end up, say if you want to pay it in 25 years, you want to pay a fixed sum. So the banker will tell you, okay, you want to pay back in 25 years, this is the amount you pay. You want to pay in 15 years, this is the amount you pay. He gives you a choice. What can you afford? I mean, at that time, you think these people are very good. They are very well trained. They, they must have had. Yeah, but they use a simple geometric series. Only thing is, the banker is not going to sit and use a geometric series. He's got a ready reckon or a table. But the table has been worked out by students like you, students like me. And the banker just, it's, it'll have been worked out for a hundred pounds or one pound. And then he multiplies by whatever the amount you take and whatever the interest rate. And he tells you how much. So let's see how that's worked out. So to start with, how much? So therefore, at the end of first year, remember, he is going to pay 6% interest and he wants to give 25 installments of X pounds each. So at the end of first year, uh, money owed. Money owed at the end of first year would be 25,000 times 1.06. By now you have understood, look, 100 pounds will become 106 pounds. So 1 pound will become 1.06. So whatever the amount you owe, multiply by 1.06. But you paid X pounds. So therefore, balance after first payment. This is what I am looking at. How much do I owe you when I pay you once? Will be that minus X. That the amount the bank book says, okay, this is what you owed me, this is what you have paid. What happens at the end of second year? So money owed at the end of second year. Will be this money is the money you owed the previous year. You charge 6% interest. So it is 25,000 times 1.06 squared. Why? Because you are going to multiply that by 1.06 minus x times 1.06. But then 
when you pay the second installment balance after second let's make it more technical second emi estimated monthly installment will be 25000 times 1.06 squared minus x times 1.06 minus x that the amount you owe now what happens money owed at the end of third year will be all this money now you are charging one point i mean uh, six percent interest so that will be twenty five thousand times one point zero six cube minus x times one point zero six squared minus x times one point zero six then you go and say look i'm paying you one more x so therefore balance you, you i hope you understand what i'm talking so balance after third payment or third emi would be this money minus x so i'll write it here so 25000 times 1.06 power 3 minus x times 1.06 power 2 minus x times 1.06 minus x right of course i mean it will be stupid of us as math students if we keep on writing this for 25 years then the whole purpose is defeated as a math student you are expected to recognize pattern and arrive at a general term that's what you're supposed to do so let's see the pattern i'm only interested in the balance so balance of the first year is 1.06 power 1 and x okay balance it in the second year 25000 times 1.6 power 2 minus x times 1.06 x power 1 minus x balance it the th after third emi or when you make the third payment is 25000 times 1.06 cube minus x times 1.06 squared minus x times 1.06 minus x now we mathematicians are good at recognizing pattern. Suppose it was the fourth one would be power 4, power 3, power 2, power 1 and x. So, you are making 25 payments. So, I am going to just use the same pattern to write at the end of 20, when you make the 25th payment. So, therefore, I think I can, I should wrap nicely. Hey, that's not a good job. Let me wrap nicely. There. Nah. Very good. So, therefore, now I have so balance after 25th payment would be 25,000 times 1.06 power 25 minus x times 1.06 power 24 minus x times 1.06 power 23 minus x times 1.06 power 22 dot 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 minus x times 1.06 power 1 minus x that is the amount you owe read all right so i don't need this now my job is to find x remember when do you say you have repaid when you don't owe them any money so the balance when you make the 25th payment should be zero or less than zero but let's stick to zero that's good enough because sometimes you might have paid a bit more the bank will pay you back the money instead i no, no, i want to make it exact so when i pay that money i don't know you you don't know me i'll say thank you and walk out okay so what i'll do is so the balance must be zero so i take all the negative terms to the other side so i can say x plus x times 1.06 plus x times 1.06 squared etc plus x times 1.06 power 9 24 should be equal to 25000 times 1.06 power 25 okay 
if I remove x as a common factor, I get 1 plus 1.06, 1.06 squared, etc. 1.06 power 24 equal to 25,000 times 1.06 power 25. That is a geometric series. A is 1, R is 1.06. N is 25. Remember, you made 25 payments. So, therefore, what is SN? A times 1 minus R power N over 1 minus R times X. So, let's work that out using a calculator. Sorry, I'm using my phone as a calculator, which some of you do in the class. I know. Uh, I have come across. You aren't supposed to use a phone. So, but I forgot my calculator. Can I use it, please? So, sometimes I allow. And then, of course, obviously, one or two of you will sneak in and see what is the latest message. It happens. We understand that. So, the way I do it is even though, look, it's going to be negative, I will mentally reverse it. Even though leave the formula as it is, I'll do 1.06 power 25 from my glasses. I don't want to commit a mistake in reading the values. Okay. 1.06 power 25 is 4.2918 something minus 1. So I got that answer. This is 0 0.06. So divide by 0 0.06. I got that answer. So it is 54.8645. You can keep up to 3. I'll keep it up to 4. So, x times uh, 54.8645 equal to 25,000 times 1.06 power 25. So, x equal to that divided by 54.8645. I hope I am right now. I better be. Mm, 25,000. Of course, I have written this, but I could use the answer button and divide by the whole value. 25,000 times 1.06 power 25 divided by the answer 1955.68 or nearest pound would be pounds 1956 so that's how you see so, whenever you take a loan with interest, don't count only in general simple interest. You're paying almost double. That's almost, when you round it to two places, almost 2,000. 2,000 times 25 is 50,000. You borrow 25,000 in 25 years, you're paying almost double the amount. But that's how you see the bank survive. And obviously, they have helped you. And for you, you don't realize it because you're only paying 2,000 every year and you had 25,000 to do whatever you wanted for your house. So, that's how banking works. So, that's just an example. I mean, there are more factors involved when the bankers do it. In fact, it might be less than that. It might be only 1800 or 1750 or something because uh, they also look into, you know, because they're going to invest the money and maybe uh, sometimes that's the reason why the bankers, especially when you go to mortgage for a house, they start with a low mortgage for five years and then say it's fixed more rate for five years. And then we're going to increase, obviously, because they have to make more money because they have to wait for a period of 30, 40 years to get back the money they paid. So, after all, they're not doing a favor. I'm oh, sorry, you're not doing a favor to them by borrowing. And they are indirectly doing a favor to you by giving you the money and waiting for 25 years to get back the money. So, that was, those were the examples I wanted to take on geometric series, which are out of the ordinary. I don't want to do questions which say, uh, find the seventh term, find the common ratio, 
how many terms add up to this or what the sum of 15 terms those are things you direct application of formula you can do so these verbal questions where you have to build a geometric progression they are rare but they can come so i wanted to show you that so i want to stop at that stage and then continue with algebra in the next lesson uh, starting with uh, binomial theorem thank you very much have a nice day bye bye hello i want to take this opportunity to propose a vote of thanks i would like to thank vivid innovations private limited and commerce forum for uh, so generously giving up their uh, studio and the facilities and the services of their uh, technicians to record all these videos for free i think that needs to be acknowledged and appreciated thank you very much and my special thanks to mr nitin mahadevpa mr nishant guruswami and mr sadan kumar dn for all their help and assistance in getting these videos ready uploaded and launched thank you very much